A commitment from Labor to progress development of a long-awaited road in the Eden Monero electorate has been slammed by the Deputy Premier of New South Wales as a thought bubble to win votes. As the countdown to the July 4th poll continues, Labor's rolling out the funding promises in a bid to avoid becoming the first opposition in 100 years to lose a seat to the government at a by-election. Federal Labor opting for a rinse and repeat funding promise as candidate Christy McBain hits the hustings for the looming Eden Monero by-election. The Labor Party will pledge $65 million towards the Dun Creek Road uh, project. Following MP Mike Kelly's resignation and holding the seat on a wafer-thin margin of just 0.9 per cent, the party's dusted off a policy it announced before last year's federal election for a corridor connecting Old Cooma and Gugong Roads with the Monero Highway around Shepherd Street or Isabella Drive. We know that this is a project deeply needed by this growing community. This project should be built and it should be built now. I'm standing for election in Eden Monero because communities like this can't continue to be forgotten. But then, as is now, the cash splash is well shy of the $200 million the project is tipped to cost even if the Berejiklian government matched Labor's funding figure as requested. It's just one of those thought bubbles uh, to win votes. There is no question that this is a by-election. It won't change government. Uh, Anthony Albanese will not be the Prime Minister and they will not be able to deliver on this commitment. The Liberal candidate agrees given project planning is well underway but far from finished. Until we have the land, until we have the planning, Committing funds to its construction doesn't achieve anything. In that vein, Fiona Codvoys sees no need to rush a response. There's going to be a lot of promises made over the election campaign. I'm very certain of that. The key thing to remember is who can actually deliver those promises.